Hey everyone, I'm Alice and today I want to talk to you about starting a channel. I recently made a video called how to start a blog and get it noticed and that went down quite well. I had a few people ask me what advice I had for people thinking of starting a YouTube channel after that. So I'm kind of combining all the questions that I've had since I made that video as well as just throwing in some bits of advice as well. So I'm going to split this video up into three sections. The first bit is going to be starting the channel, the second part is going to be creating the content, and then the third part of this video is going to be talking about how to get people to actually watch your videos and I'll probably talk about this a little bit more later on in the video but the third bit is actually way more difficult. <laughs> Making the videos isn't that hard compared to getting people to actually watch them. In my experience that's always been the hardest bit but hopefully this will help you. So in terms of getting started actually making a YouTube account is incredibly simple. You've probably already got a YouTube account, you've probably already got a Google account because Google own YouTube but I would strongly suggest starting a new one and making sure that your YouTube name matches all your social media handles that way it's just really easy for people to find you. Now I've had a few people ask me about what camera I recommend for people starting a channel and I would say when you're starting a YouTube channel just use whatever camera you have. I would not tell someone who's never made a YouTube video before, who's never done anything like this to invest hundreds of pounds in a DSLR and another hundred pounds in some lights and another hundred pounds on a microphone just to start a YouTube channel. That's insane. No, just use whatever you have. If you've had a channel for a little while and you want to upgrade, I would always recommend the equipment that I use, which is a Canon 700D, that's my DSLR, that's what I'm filming on right now. And for vlogging I use a much smaller camera, that's the Sony RX100. Highly recommend both cameras. If you want to know more about the technical side of things, I've done a few videos on that already, so I'm not going to ramble on about that too much, but I have already done the behind the scenes tag, I've done a how I film videos video as well where I talk a bit more about my equipment. I also have a blog post about buying a DSLR for the purpose of blogging or vlogging and I talk through everything that you need to look for. But yeah, I've talked about my equipment quite a few times now so I'm not going to bore you with it again. So now I'm going to talk a bit about creating the actual content. This advice kind of overlaps with my how to start a blog video but I would definitely say make the videos that you are passionate about making and don't worry too much about what's going to be popular. I think it's very easy to try and make the things that you think are going to be popular but trust me when I say you never know what is going to be popular. You absolutely don't know. Another piece of advice I have about making content is to post at least once a week. This is really good for the algorithms on YouTube. Another thing is that your subscribers want to see regular videos, they just do. Like I watch a lot of YouTube videos, I don't just make them, I watch a lot of channels and I'm quite invested in the ones that upload at least once a week. If a schedule isn't your thing, and I know it's not for everyone, then I would probably say to make sure people are following you on social media, so just plug your Twitter handle your Facebook page or Instagram, whatever it might be, at the end or in the, even in the middle or at the start of every single video you make and make sure it's always in the description box as well. Social media is a great way for people who watch your videos to keep up with you. Now let's talk about ideas because that's the fun bit, isn't it? If you're watching this and you're thinking that you want to start a channel but you don't really know what you want to start about, I would look at your life and look at something that you're really passionate about. What gets you out of bed in the morning? That is what you should be making videos about. And if you're not 100% sure what you want to make videos about, I would strongly recommend starting the channel anyway. I would just do a lot of trial and error, see what you enjoy making the most and see what your audience enjoys watching the most, see what goes down well and you'll kind of figure it out as you go along. You'll kind of know what videos are best to make for your channel and for you. So now we're going to talk about how to get people to actually watch your videos, which is probably the hardest part. I'm going to just be completely upfront here. In the grand scheme of things, my channel is quite small. However, I've still had quite a lot of opportunities through this channel. YouTube is two things. It's a social media platform and it's a search engine. It's a search engine more than anything else. And if you utilize those two things, that is how you get people to watch your videos. It's a social media, first of all. It is a place where people share content and other people view it and leave comments. 
there's a big community around it which is very different to a lot of other video platforms. YouTube is really the only place that has this. If you're wanting to make a YouTube channel then the chances are you watch a lot of videos already. That's why I started and that's probably why you want to start or it's at least part of the reason why you want to start. So every single video you watch leave a comment. What you don't do, and I can't stress this enough, and I'm sorry that I'm repeating this from my how to start a blog video, but you do not mention your channel in the comments of someone else's video. You just, you don't, you don't do that. Don't make me come over there because, oh, it's all about networking and you can't have those kind of relationships if you're just leaving spam comments. Even if people do sub back to you, it doesn't matter if you have a few thousand subscribers. If those subscribers aren't engaging with your videos and they're not watching it all the way through, they're not leaving valuable comments, then the videos will go nowhere. It doesn't matter. I've completely gone off on a tangent there, but I was saying that YouTube is a social media and it's also a search engine. So I've talked about how it's a social media, now let's talk about how it's a search engine. You have to make sure that people are going to be able to find your videos if they're searching for something that's similar to what you're making. You need to word your title as if you were typing it into the search bar. You have to make sure that you write a really good description. Make sure you put as many relevant keywords in there as possible, but put them in a sentence. Don't just write random keywords, that's what the tags part is for. And then in the tags you can absolutely go to town. Make sure you put everything that is in any way relevant to the video that you've made. Having searchable content is a good idea, like responding to current events and trending topics. Personally, I film my videos very far in advance, so I'm never really able to do that because I'm usually two or three videos ahead. That's the only way that I can keep on top of things. But if you are a more spontaneous channel, then I would definitely recommend doing that. You also need to make sure that you've got a really good thumbnail. Most people will click on your video depending on the thumbnail. The thumbnail is what draws people in. Think of it as the shop window. Another tip I have is to promote your videos on social media. I hit a thousand followers on Twitter long before I had a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And a lot of the beauty gurus who I watch on YouTube got popular on Instagram first and then the people on Instagram went to their YouTube channel afterwards. It is so much easier on those platforms to find the kind of people who you want to follow. So make sure you're utilising other social media platforms and not just investing all your time into YouTube. If you want to double your views instantly, I would recommend adding closed captions to your videos. This is a great way to get new people to come and watch them. Closed captions are not just for people who are hard of hearing, they are also for people who live in other countries who can maybe read your language better than they can understand it when they're listening to it. Or maybe even people who do speak your language who have perfectly fine hearing but who just prefer to watch something with subtitles on. I try to close caption as many of my videos as possible. Some of the videos on my channel are quite long so I haven't done it on all of them yet but it is something that I'm working on. Like I said before, I only have 2,000 subscribers. I'm not the best person when it comes to growth and making your channel insanely popular, but I do know a few people who can give you those tips. There's video creators and video influencers. Both of them actually have videos called how to start from zero subscribers. So they have videos on how to start from the absolute bottom and work your way up. Their whole channels are dedicated to growing your audience, so I would highly recommend watching and subscribing to them. They've got so much good advice, more than I can give in this one video. I'm going to leave links to my favourite videos from both of those channels in the description box. They've got some really helpful ones that have really helped me out on my channel, so I'll leave the links down there for you. I will just say though, numbers are great and everything, but they're not the sole indicator of how successful you are on YouTube. And I know that people are just gonna think that I'm saying that because I'm a small channel, but I'm actually saying it because I have had a lot of opportunities through this channel this year that I'm very grateful for. I'm self-employed and pretty much every client that I have had in 2016 has found me on YouTube. Either that or they found me before that but then I've shown them my YouTube channel and that's when they've hired me, when they've seen what I can do on this platform. As a photographer and videographer it kind of goes without saying that this has obviously got me quite a bit of attention in that department but it's also recently got me a job as a content creator at a digital marketing company which essentially means that among other things 
I do make YouTube videos for a living, just not on this channel. Having a YouTube channel will make your CV stand out. It can be a really good selling point for you. But even if you're not doing anything related to what your channel is about, just having it shows that you are confident, that you are consistent, you're organised and you're hardworking. You can't have a YouTube channel without those qualities. Or even if you just want to do it for fun, I've met some really incredible people through doing this. A lot of other creators who I watch on a regular basis are now good friends of mine. So even if your channel doesn't get a huge amount of subscribers straight away, which it won't, <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there right now, it definitely won't. It could lead you to making some really good friends, finding your dream job. If nothing else, it will improve your confidence, absolutely. So whatever your reasons are, for starting a YouTube channel, stop watching videos like this, stop thinking about it and just do it. If you're watching this, you already have all the technical equipment that you need to make your first video, whether that's on a laptop or a phone. Make your first video, it will be awful, but upload it anyway. Make another video, that will probably be equally terrible, but upload it anyway. And keep going until you make a video that doesn't suck and then things will start to get better. I really hope that you found this video helpful. I feel like I've just been talking at you for like an hour, but I hope that there was some good information in there somewhere. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments section below for me, or get in touch with me on social media. I am at Miss Alice Red on Twitter and Instagram. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Miss Alice Red, or follow my blog at alicered.co.uk. And let me know if you start a channel as well. I would absolutely love to see what you make. Bye.